What's good? We back. All right, so I want to talk to y'all about something else. So I want to talk to y'all about taking advantages of the unfairness of life. You personally got to take advantage of how unfair life is. Life not fair. So you know what, bro? Just take advantage of it, bro. Life is not fair. Just take advantage of it, then. Why y'all don't want to take advantage of life? You know, expand your opportunities. You know, love everybody, bro. Stay positive. But you got to understand, bro, this, you, you're, you know, all right. You're, in, you're in, infinitely deep being, you're infinitely deep being, okay? Your being is infinite. Your grip on life is not infinite. You cannot, your grip on life is not infinite. You, like, people say they, they this, that, third, they know what's going on in a bit. You can grip life to this thing. But here's the thing, though. Once you raise your vibration up, it's only so high I can go. 700 is the top. But your being is infinite. Like, your being is infinite, man. Your being is infinite, dog. Realize that. Understand me when I say that your being is infinite. I don't want fucking dread need to be washed up, bro. Put these bitches in my life. Like these need to be washed up, bro. Man, your being is infinite, dog. Love everybody, dog. Drink water. I'm 16. And I was a school today, and I was thinking to myself, like, Think about what school is. Schools is just growing up with other gods. We're all gods. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> No. Yeah. It ain't over. Huh? We still talking, bro. What y'all talking about, bro? What y'all folks talking about? Let me get on the bottom of him. What we just been talking? What we been talking about? Huh? What we been talking about? All right, bro. Night. <sighs> Yo, take advantage, expand, branch out. Don't take so much of your plate at the same time, bruh. Like, school, what they trying to teach you in school, bruh? Let me be honest here, bruh. That shit is not for mortal gods, bro. That shit they teach in school is not mortal gods. That is the history of a low vibrational of America in the world. That is that is it. That is history of lowest vibration in the world. <laughs> to put you to your lowest state. That's what that's teaching you. It's to put you to your lowest state. Cause that's where the masses are at, and it's the masses are at the lowest state. So they teaching you. About where the mass is at. We're not teaching you what the people are sending to high realms, where they at, because it ain't many of them. So they ain't gonna teach that. They ain't the popular vote. And to be honest, they know that they, they got up they from a lot of trial and error. So if you know it took a lot to get up there, bro, you, why would you why would you want to up there with you, bro? The higher you the higher you climb, you know, less people can fit up there, bro. <laughs> hey, and um we do some statistics. The higher you climb up, less people that's gonna be up there, right? If you trying to come up there, and everybody come up there, bruh, it's not gonna be enough room. It's not gonna be enough room up there, bruh. I'm gonna draw it for you real quick. I got you. I like this, y'all. Show y'all what I'm talking about real quick.
This is the top. This right here. Hold on, let me add some to it. This is the one percent. All right. They make a one percent out of a hundred people. I just I'm gonna show you something real quick. Let me show y'all something real quick. I ain't want to come to rest in the messages, bro. You know? You know how some people just not want to go to basketball games. Like, I mean, it's cool and all, but it's, it's not my forte. You know, it's cool, but it's not necessarily my forte, though. At the same time, it's not my forte, though. Yeah, shit, man. I got some other. I got some. else I'm thinking about in my head too. Fucking with the girl, she got a dad, bro. She got a hard down dad. Like I'm talking about protect and save you, bro. This girl got a hard down dad. It's a it's a whole different challenge, bro. I gotta do more. I gotta do more stuff to get it. See, I ain't see doing this much to get it, bro. I'm just getting. I'm just doing a little bit and getting it, bro. I gotta do more and more and more and more and more to get it. It's like. It's like I'm leveling up almost like it's a weird way of climbing a ladder. You gotta do a little bit to get it, but you don't get it. You gotta do a little more to get it, and you get it, you to, and you climb the ladder, you feel me? Yeah, that's what I'm about to share what I'm talking about with this. Um, tell y'all what I'm telling y'all this right here, bro. This is why the 99% is the 99% right here. You gotta understand a couple things. Okay, this is why. The one percent gonna stay the one percent, and the ninety nine gonna stay the ninety nine. Okay, and you know, take what I say with a grain of salt, you know. But I'm gonna make y'all think something real quick. Look at this, alright. So. Look at it like this. The 99 percentile is this right here. This is the 1 percentile, okay? Okay. Let's say that five people right here are trying to climb up to this 1 percent. Okay? Five people trying to climb up to this 1 percent with three people in it. That's eight people, okay? So now we got eight people in the, in the um, 1 percentile. Of a 99 percentile, which is not, it's eight people's like, that's like 3% of top 3% of society. So, we're going to have to narrow it down to a higher ranking. Boom. So, next thing you know, two, two, get, two of them gets better. Boom. They don't know 1%, the uh, 1 percentile. Okay. You know, they're climbing higher. But that's not necessarily to say that they're going to be the ones that did take anything down here. See, down here in this 99 percentile, where most people's at, the higher you get up here, you can learn to control them. You can learn to control them. And the 99 percentile. Okay, I'm going to teach something like this. Eat one couple things. It limits your competition. It leads to where... You can, or if you could teach someone the history of the 99 percentile group, is basically pointless. It's the 99 percentile group. What's the point of teaching history about some failures? Or not, let me say this, the important ones that you decided. How do we not know 
that people in one percentile, how do we not know that their history might even be worth looking into to learn something? If we look into a one percentile history, we're going to learn something. They don't want us learning nothing. That's why they teach us the bombings, the shootings, the death. Like the Trump, this a, is a bad world. That's what they teach us. I'm going to show you something else too, bro. Um, sad, mad, angry. Oh my. Okay, so you see those words right there? Those match up to something called the vibrational frequencies. Okay, they're not accurate to a T, but you can look them up. They're all about your vibration and what you resonate at. Okay. If you resonate at a higher vibration, according to this chart, you are closer to the one percentile. Okay, this is one way to tally up the chart, okay? This is one way to tally up this chart. The higher vibration is, the higher one or one percenter you become. I'm talking about a true one percenter. Not no society has pictures or gave you that concept. A true one percenter is someone who loves, lives in joy, lives a fulfilling life that he wants to live. Okay? What else you got here? So we have reason. Reason. Okay. If your reason with life, what matters is your life. All right, let me get something out of the way here. Your life is the only life that you can control, okay, and manipulate. We know you can nip it up his lives, but that's more. You, I feel like to effectively do it, you can do it at a higher vibration. Because, like, to effectively. I mean, you can do it. You can, like, have relationships and bonds and all this. And love and partners. But, like, to efficiently do it, you have to just rise, bro. For a girlfriend to be worth it, you have to efficiently rise yourself up high. Because, like. If you still in like reason, acceptance, it's gonna be cool, but it's almost like you know, you gotta find yourself where you can find somebody else. It's a famous quote you can only know someone as deeply as you know yourself. So you have to dive deep in yourself. And you know, it reflects when you start waking up and raising your vibration, you start dating, because like. Not many people that met themselves, bro. Crazy statement. Not many people have met themselves. You go somewhere by yourself. You meet your true self. You sit in a room by yourself. You meet your true self. You challenging yourself. Oh, you really gonna see your true self then? When you run the track and your legs hurt, bro, your legs won't give out. You gonna find out what you really made of. Better yet, when you're on the football field and you working every single day, you're going to find out who you truly is. When you get time to compete and y'all hitting pads, you're going to find out. You will find out who you truly are. All these challenges we put ourselves through are to find out who we truly are. And it makes our vibration rise, rise, rise. We, The person that can find out who they truly are the best is dangerous. But they choose love. They are the, one of the most dangerous people on this planet. Okay, look at this. Look at this. The, the one percenter that chooses love and peace. The one percenter that chooses love and peace has the same capability 